Ah, London. A bustling city, modern in many ways, but with history under every footstep. Walk down any alley or stop into most pubs, and there are stories to tell. A great many of these stories talk of those long since past, and sometimes those who were past seem to linger on where their earthly footsteps trod. A stroll along the Strand in London will take you past the Adelphi Theater, with its Art Deco exterior and lines of people if you walk by around showtime. Though many theaters have their own ghosts, you might not think the Adelphi was a good candidate for a haunting, but you'd be mistaken. Near the dawn of the 1900s, an actor named William Terrace was making his way through the cold winter streets to the Adelphi to prepare for his part in the successful production of Secret Service. Who knows what he was thinking, but it probably wasn't that this would be his last night on Earth. As he reached the stage door, a fellow actor named Richard Prince materialized from the darkness. Before he knew what was happening, Prince plunged a blade into William in front of horrified onlookers, leaving him mortally wounded and bleeding on the pavement. The dying man was carried inside the Adelphi, but nothing could be done. Just before he breathed his last, Terrace looked up at his friend Jesse Millward and whispered, I will be back. If the ghost stories that have clung to the Adelphi since that tragic day are to be believed, William Terrace was true to his word. The living who spend time around the Adelphi sometimes hear footsteps echoing in empty places and feel an eerie sense of being watched when they're alone. Yet events like those can be explained away as the noises and atmosphere of an old building. Harder to explain is William's spirit appearing at the site of his murder. The apparition, reportedly dressed in his finest, also wanders the inside of the theater and has been known to knock on the dressing room doors of the living actors who perform at the Adelphi. And it seems that William isn't just confined to the theater. Take a short walk through the bustling Covent Garden past the pressing crowds, buskers, and shops, and head into the tube station, and a person might see the ghost of William roaming the passages. He doesn't seem to be a malevolent spirit, though. Perhaps he's found that the afterlife offers an opportunity to perform for all eternity. <laughs> 